Good morning. I just wanted to show you guys what I do for consistency as part of my daily routine. And so I have in this one mix, I have fiber, apple cider vinegar, and lemon juice. And it's not for any dietary purpose other than to help with insulin sensitivity, get my fiber added in, and then the lemon juice does help with pH and toxins. So it's not a dietary cleanse or anything that you've heard of before with apple cider vinegar. Strictly for insulin purposes. So, there's that. And then that QNOL is a COQ10, so that's for uh, tissue purposes for your skin. It helps rebuild the probiotic I take as something extra. I also take a fish oil three times a day, multivitamins, and then I'll, uh, the glutamine. I'll take it now and I'll take it two more times today. And I take extra zinc, even though it's in my multi. So, that multi that you get with First Form has, um, has aminos in it anyway, but I like to have extra. So you take the First Form uh, multivitamin and the Bliss when you're cutting? Yes. Or when you need a fat burner? I can take it again in two weeks. I can't take it right now. That yep. advice would not be the same for everyone. I have um, an adrenal issue already, so I have to be careful and I have to take more breaks from stimulants. So anytime you have um, something like that, it would have to be something diagnosed to where you're under research. And I've been under research for a very long time. So it's all about controlling my um, adrenal gland so that I can have proper functions with my hormones. So every, when I do say four to six weeks on a fat burner, I do have to take a couple weeks off to reset. So they make adrenal resets that you can take. Uh, I don't want to take any right now. I'll tell you one thing, that right there is dedication. Checking that apple cider vinegar and that fiber um, and lemon juice. Really? So as for my consistency, if things are not ready, if they're not on paper, I I just think about donuts and put chocolate chip pancakes from Welch's all day. So, And if you know me, if you work out with me, I talk about pizza and pancakes all the time. And I will eat them if I'm not planned so or prepared. So I'm going to go ahead and make my post-workout. Got a little too much water for me. So I'm using a Formula One, <clears throat> it's hydrolyzed, it's going to go into my system a lot faster. Uh, ignition, Kevin takes a full scoop, I take half a scoop. I take half a scoop because I have, um, I don't need all of that. It's recommended for me to have half a scoop, so that's what I'm having. Hey, here, here's something to tell you guys. You know when you first open a container of protein, these Formula One scoops, they are on top. Now, I, it's recommended for women to have maybe one scoop post-workout. I do have one and a half. My protein, I like to keep my protein high. My body operates better this way. That's why I tell people to understand your own body. Great advice. Not to mention, after three hours of working out, you're starving. Sounds three hour workouts are fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> well, now that I've broken back up into three training sessions a week, we can cut each one down. Uh, they're only cutting down to like 90 minutes minimum, but still. Your workouts are nuts, though, that's why you got those muscles. So, 
that's why you're squatting 300 and deadlifting 350 because those three hour workouts and eating the right stuff and now she's cutting down so trying not to lo uh, lose strength at the same time that's why she's giving you these this advice yep. protein's mm. a big thing this stuff's huge I'm getting ready to take that let me go ahead and skip ahead and take it uh, I never took anything I never had injuries but my hip is really bothering me and um, my shoulder just where I'm training I changed my split I'm a little more sore so this will help with that but I'm still in the first week so I'm in the loading phase I have to take three tablespoons a day for the first 14 days and then I can drop down to two or maybe one I tell them what it is straight hyaluronic acid by a plate again. It's in a gel form. That's why it's it's really weird in my mouth. The consistency is really weird. It's like taking medicine. Um, you'll see it has zero carbs. It's caffeine free, gluten free, and no calories. And it's 75 milligrams of hyaluronic per serving. One serving is one tablespoon. Since I'm in the loading phase and I'm at three, I'm tripling that. And then I can drop down. Obviously. She's not measuring tablespoons, but you kind of know once, know once you take enough medicines, enough fluid, and you get used to how much is in your mouth, you, you can kind of figure out what a tablespoon is um, when you're doing that. Another interesting fact about hyaluronic acid is that it's being used for skin treatments. So it does has nothing, what I'm telling you about it has nothing to do with bodybuilding here in a minute, but I saw where they're using it to repair collagen, especially like for faces and stuff, so... That's an interesting fact. And they actually have the gel that you can put on before bed that, and it's hyaluronic acid. I will not be putting this on my face just because I'm not sure. <laughs> so I'll just drink it. If I get added skin benefits, then I will. Um, so first thing, first thing in the morning, I'm doing the apple cider vinegar, lemon, and fiber. I do not eat enough fiber. I eat veggies, but I, I don't get enough fiber out of my diet. So I supplement with a sugar-free fiber. You don't want extra calories and junk from it. So this is strictly for insulin. It's going to help with insulin sensitivity, and that's why I take it first thing in the morning. Lemon juice. Normally I don't use this tiny thing, but I ran out of the big bottle, and I'm moving, so I'm not buying anything else extra. When I get moved, you'll see me have the big bottle again, and I'll actually measure it out. And then I just mix it up to about 10, 10 ounces of water. And I do have a sugar-free drink packet that has electrolytes. So any drink packets that are sugar-free and give you the added benefit of electrolytes are awesome. If, if you find one you like the flavor of. And then, so the pre-workout or post-workout, we made that. Before bed, I'll probably have protein pudding. And I'm going to have a level one mix for that. So I'm going to have a bowl. <clears throat> so you're going to go ahead and make your protein pudding? I am. I like it cold. Level one is a little different. It's a blend, but it's not, um, it's not added with junk or anything. Carbs. No, it's, it's still a low calorie blend. Yeah, it's 130 calories, I think. Yep. And the, the ISO over there, the formula one, is only 100 calories, so they're both really, really pure proteins. Um, I like, I wish that they had the ice cream sandwich in formula one, because I like it. And yeah, that chocolate milk, milkshake. Yeah, but look at this, and that, I like that. That stuff's so good. All right. One for the day. Okay, hands. I know. So, I love, love, love these proteins. They taste amazing. <laughs> like this ice cream sandwich. I ain't gonna lie, it tastes like you're like just melted down an ice cream sandwich and ate it. That's good. And then the chocolate milkshake tastes just like like a chocolate malt milkshake. It's freaking delicious. <laughs> I had one yesterday. And the ignition's flavorless, so you can put it in any of your drinks. 
We also got a Fruit Loops, a freaking Fruit Loops. It's good. It's really good. Tastes just like Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles or something. <laughs> Um, Delicious, and we can mix you, these with straight water. I mean, if you wanted to add milk or or, yeah. or almond milk or something, yeah, it's probably gonna make it a little better. But we just mix it with water, and it's delicious. So, if you're making pancakes or if you're somebody that makes desserts, you want to go with level one. Or if you have, if you need meal re not replacement because there's no carbs in it, but if you're somebody that likes to have a protein shake on a low carb diet or a protein shake midday then you would have that. And then this is what you use after you work out. And then this stuff is just the consistency level that you like. Like Dana likes it like a cake batter. So she makes hers a little thicker than I do. So just however thick you want to make your pudding, that's how much water you'll add. And it's retarded and so good. You put it put it in the fridge, cool it down for however long you If want. it resembles something bad, I want it. So, and it resembles cookie batter, cookie dough, whatever. So I want it. Yep. Now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so I can eat it later. Like, and it's not the same if you don't have it in a Ninja Turtle Bowl. It has to be in a Ninja Turtle Bowl or it's not as good. That's just science. It's true. And that's it. Okay, so that's the daily start and then um, we'll put on here when we cook our, our lunch later it's already prepared she's she went ahead and meal prepped the other day so so we'll got, just be measuring it we'll out. just be showing you the measurements and putting it together and being consistent so word of the day consistency, consistency. <laughs> Kirk went looking at turn it off Kirk went looking at spoon
I'm not doing it. So we're gonna do the superset hanging inverted rows paired with single arm long bar rows. Barbell row and ISO high row for at 
pendulay rows. I'll be completely bent over, rowing into my waist, down to the floor, Olympic style. So it's one, reset one, reset one. What's up? We just finished back day with my partner in crime. <laughs> it looks like it's about to pour down rain. Yeah, so much rain, can't get shit done. How'd I get so lucky to have you as my partner in crime? I'm the lucky one. Taking over the damn world with me, helping people get fit. That's right. Life couldn't be any better. Yep, taking over the fucking world. Right now we're running a little late getting the kids because our workout ran way long. Yeah, but it was good. It was. So. Pendelay, Pendelay. So what's up? Huh. Well, I guess we gotta get this, gotta get our protein in. Uh, Post-workout nutrition is crucial because you've spent, you know, usually an hour or so depleting yourself if you lift heavy, etc., etc. So you gotta refuel, and that's what I'm about to do. Pick up the kids and work on some client stuff. So, and I'll probably, I need to talk about um, how to break down post-workout nutrition here in a little bit. Okay. But I want to do that when we get home. I don't want to do it right now. Yeah, plus I need to get some shit moved, try to get some stuff moved before it does bust out. It looks like it's happening any second. Yeah, I'm probably, I got it loaded in my car at least, so half the battle's done. So, so much shit to do in such a little time. Yep. But it's a good thing. That's what we're doing now. Pick up the kids after the workout. Uh, we got CPR training tomorrow. Oh, yes. At 9 o'clock in the morning. Got to get that in. Uh, so. I have never been there this late. No, this sucks. I feel very awkward. We're the, man, we're at the bus. Normally an early bird. Man. This is crazy. It sure is. The kids are going to be like, oh, no. I know what's picking us up. Alright, I gotta go. We'll finish this up in a little bit.